Hello and welcome to your homework. We're going to do a project on package design called the juice box project. So consider this. How come orange juice packages don't just look like this? It does say what is in it and it does work. But that's not how orange juice packages look. So here is what a carton of orange juice generally looks like. You'll notice that it has a brand name. It says what is inside the box and how much is inside the box. But more importantly, it has a design. The design is the colouring, the pictures, the writing size. All of those things add up to make the packet look the way it does. Packaging can also provide us with other forms of information about the product in the box. For example, you can see on this side of the box it has instructions for use and it also tells us who made the orange juice or the manufacturer. Again, notice that the design is still there, uh, it's still oranges. They could change the design for every side of the pack, but in this case they have kept it the same. On the other side of the box, again there's a lot of information. You'll see that there is uh, how much is in the packet and you have the nutritional information. Both of these things are required to be on the box by law uh, so that the person buying the product knows what they're getting and how healthy it is or how unhealthy it is. The top of the box uh, has some relevant information about the best before date and again you can see the brand name is on it uh, for the second time. So let's take a moment to think about what was on the box. You had the brand name twice, you had a design with the oranges, pictures of oranges, uh, you had the relevant information about how much was in the box, its nutritional information, how to use the box, and who made the orange juice. The design was simple and effective, but if you compare it to this packaging, you'll find that this packaging is a lot more informational. It's very busy to look at. It doesn't strike you as being as obvious of what's in the box, other than the fact that up here it says PS2. However, not all packaging is as busy as this or as informative as this. Some packaging tends to go for a simpler design. Look at this. Look at these boxes for Motorola phones. They don't even say who made them. If unless you knew the logo, you would not know that these are Motorola phones. It doesn't say that there are phones in the boxes. All it has is the logo and some very bright colours that are attractive and easy to look at. So they have chosen the design of their box to be different to that of the PlayStation box and different to that of the Kulana box. So, we've seen a few examples of different types of packaging, uh, different colours, different designs, different levels of information. So, your task for this evening is a reflective task. I want you to look around your house at some of the designs of cartons and packaging. Generally you'll find a lot of them in the kitchen, but do have a look around. I want you to think about why those particular packages look the way that they do. Why they've got those colours? How much information is on them? Do you like them? I'd like you to find one that you think that you could improve on. Maybe be able to do a better job. And bring it to class tomorrow. Thanks for listening.